Let's do some examples with coordinate vectors in Rn. In particular, suppose we have this non-standard basis of R2. It's non-standard just in the sense that the standard basis is E1, E2, and this is something else. And say that we're told that the coordinate vector of X with respect to this basis is negative two, three. And the question we'll ask in this example is what is the vector X? And this example is very plug and play. Um, it's really just testing whether you have this definition down. Saying that the coordinate vector of X with respect to B is negative two, three, is telling you that X is negative two times the first basis vector plus three times the second basis vector, which works out to be one six. Let's do a second example that maybe requires a little more work. We'll keep this basis. And this time we'll say what X is. X will be a two, a three. And we'll ask, what is the coordinate vector of X with respect to B? And although this is going to require a little more work, once again, we're basically just testing whether we understand the coordinate vector notation. Any vector X can be uniquely written. in terms of the basis B. So there's a unique vector. Well, I should say there are unique numbers, C1 and C2, such that this equality is true. And C1 and C2 are the entries of the coordinate vector. So to find the coordinate vector, we need to solve this vector equation. Hopefully at this point, in the class, solving a vector equation is fairly straightforward. We do it using Gauss-Jordan elimination, which will happen 
off camera. And we get that C1 is 0 0.5, C2 is 1.5. And those are the coordinates of the coordinate vector that we set out to find.